Have you ever wondered why some people learn faster than you? Why they remember everything while you struggle to keep even basic concepts in your mind? You've probably blamed yourself. Told yourself you're lazy, not smart enough, not disciplined enough. But here's the truth no one told you. It's not your fault. You were programmed by school, by teachers, by society to fail at learning. Let me tell you a story. There was a man who realized something deeply disturbing the human brain. His brain, your brain, was never broken. It was misused. And instead of fixing the system, he hacked it. Not with chemicals, not with magic, but with a childhood video game. Yes, Super Mario. Sounds stupid, right? But that's the twist. Stupid things often hold the most dangerous secrets. And what he discovered wasn't just a game mechanic, it was a learning hack that made him smarter, faster, and more unstoppable than anyone around him. It rewired his entire nervous system to learn 10 times faster than the average person. And the scariest part? Anyone can do it, even you. You see, most people treat learning like it's survival. You make a mistake, and you feel pain. You mess up a math problem, you get embarrassed. You forget a date in history class, you get labeled slow. You score low on a test, you feel worthless. And so your brain starts associating failure with shame. Over time, it builds walls. You start fearing learning itself. You avoid difficult subjects. You procrastinate. You scroll. You run. That's how you were trained. That's how your brain was hijacked by the system. But this one man saw something different. He saw a kid playing Super Mario, failing again and again and again, falling into pits, getting burned by fireballs, crushed by Goombas, but never stopping, never getting depressed, never quitting. Why? Because the brain didn't associate failure with pain, it associated it with progress. Each mistake wasn't punishment, it was information. And that's the difference. Once you change the way your brain perceives failure, you change the speed at which you learn. That's the core of the Super Mario effect. In school, failure is shame. In gaming, failure is feedback. That's the psychological switch. And when he realized that, he began training his brain to treat every failure like a bonus level. Every wrong answer? Just another power-up waiting to be unlocked. Every bad grade? Just a checkpoint on the way to mastery. He stopped flinching. He stopped hesitating. He started moving faster, trying harder, and making more mistakes on purpose. And something unbelievable happened. He started learning faster than the smart kids. Faster than the perfectionists. Faster than the quiet toppers who never raised their hands unless they were 100% sure. Why? Because he wasn't playing their game anymore. He was playing his own. And his rules were simple. Fail fast. Learn faster. Don't flinch. Don't stop. Don't associate failure with pain. That's what they don't want you to know. Because once you adopt this mentality, no school, no system, no teacher can control how fast you grow. They want obedient students, not dangerous thinkers. But this is how you become dangerous. This is how you hack your brain. And it starts with just one decision. To stop letting fear of failure control your learning speed. Because the moment you break that fear, you unleash something terrifying. You become the kind of student who doesn't need to be motivated. Who doesn't wait for inspiration? Who doesn't fear hard topics? You become the player, not the pawn. And now, let me show you how this hack works step by step. So you can finally reprogram your brain to learn anything 10x faster just like he did. Ready? Let's begin. Let's break down the Super Mario effect, not as a metaphor, but as a literal cognitive reprogramming tool. The man in our story, let's call him X, didn't just stumble upon this realization. He studied it, tested it, and built a formula that anyone can copy. You're about to get that formula. Step 1. Detach your brain from outcome, based learning. Here's the first hard truth. Most people don't learn to learn. They learn to score. They want the grade. They want the praise. They want the medal. So they attach their self-worth to the outcome. And what happens when they fail? The identity collapses. But Mario doesn't care if he falls in a pit. He doesn't cry. He doesn't ask, why me? He just restarts. That's what X did. 
he began intentionally failing every day not because he was reckless, but because he knew something. Every failure chips away the fear that's been paralyzing you for years. So the first step is to detach emotionally from the result. Grades, ranks, titles, marks, they're illusions. Stop obsessing over them. Start obsessing over iterations. He called it the 1000 try rule. If I want to master something, I give myself 1000 tries, not one perfect attempt. This shifted his brain chemistry. He stopped getting that cortisol spike when things went wrong. His brain stopped triggering the I suck narrative. And guess what? That emotional freedom made space for actual intelligence. Step 2. Gamify everything. Now that failure didn't hurt, the next hack was gamification. You want to learn chemistry? Turn it into levels. You want to master history? Turn every chapter into a boss battle. Math? Turn each equation into a hidden puzzle. X used rewards like small dopamine hits a 5 minute game break, a chocolate, a cold shower, even screaming yes like a lunatic. But here's the trick. He never rewarded success. He only rewarded effort. Why? Because when you reward effort, your brain becomes addicted to trying. And once you're addicted to trying, you become unstoppable. So create checkpoints. Build many missions. Track attempts, not wins. Just like Mario. Lives lost don't matter, only progress made does. Step 3. Eliminate the punishment reflex. Most students carry trauma. Not always big trauma, but little, subtle, invisible wounds. A teacher shamed you. A friend called you dumb. A parent compared you. And now? You punish yourself automatically for every mistake. X hacked this by doing something radical. He started celebrating his mistakes. Out loud. In public. Even during group studies. He'd get something wrong and literally clap and laugh like a maniac. Yes, another one. That's one mistake closer to mastery. People thought he was weird. But secretly, they were jealous because they were still afraid of failure. And he had turned it into a game. If you want to learn faster, you have to kill the punishment reflex. Every time you self-criticize, your brain slows down learning speed. Every time you feel guilt for being wrong, you're teaching your nervous system to fear growth. Replace guilt with curiosity. Replace shame with celebration. You were never dumb. You were just punished too soon. Step 4. Speed up the feedback loop. This is the most technical part of the hack. And it's where 99% of students fail. They wait too long for feedback. They read for 2 hours. They practice for 10 days. Then they hope it worked. That's like playing Mario blindfolded and checking your screen once a week. You need instant correction. X used this method. He'd attempt a question or concept. If he got it wrong, he'd immediately ask, Why did I fail? What was the trap? Where did my thinking glitch? He built micro loops. Fail. Check. Adjust. Repeat. Fail. Check. Adjust. Repeat. No delay. The faster your feedback loop, the faster your brain rewires. That's how learning speed multiplies. And eventually, you start failing less and less. Not because you're scared of failure, but because you've mined all the lessons from it already. Step 5. Adopt the player identity. This is the final and most dangerous part of the Super Mario effect. It's where your personality changes. X stopped seeing himself as a student. He became a player. A hacker of the learning matrix. He didn't ask, am I smart? He asked, how can I break this system? He didn't ask, will I pass? He asked, how many errors can I survive before I win? Once you adopt the player identity, you stop waiting for permission. You stop following traditional learning methods. You stop fearing failure, boredom, comparison, and even burnout because you're not a passive learner anymore. You're playing a game you're destined to win, not because you're perfect, but because you'll never stop pressing the restart button. And now you have the same blueprint. It's not theory. It's not wishful thinking. It's neuroscience, hijacked by video game logic. And you don't need talent. You don't need high IQ. You don't need motivation. You just need to stop punishing yourself. Start iterating like a gamer. And commit to 1000 tries one power up at a time. Because once you flip this mental switch, 
your learning speed doesn't double, it explodes. Now listen closely. I don't care what grades you've gotten. I don't care how many times you failed. I don't even care if everyone in your life thinks you're lazy, distracted, or broken. Because if you've made it to this point in the video, you are not ordinary. Ordinary people click away. Ordinary people scroll to the next dopamine hit. But you stayed. And that tells me everything I need to know. You're not here to be average. You're not here to survive school or pass tests. You're here to break the rules of learning and become something dangerous. And I know the truth no one else sees. You're tired. You're exhausted. Not because you're weak, but because you've been fighting battles no one else even knows exist. You're the student who hides stress behind smiles. The one who rewatches the same tutorial 10 times hoping it finally clicks. The one who wants to be great, but feels like your own brain is your enemy. But you're still here. And that, that makes you my kind of person. Because I was that student too. I grew up in a home where there was yelling. Where learning wasn't supported, it was mocked. Where I had to pretend everything was fine while drowning inside. But I made one decision that changed everything. I stopped trying to be perfect. And I started playing the damn game like Super Mario. And that's when my brain stopped fighting me. It started working for me. So if you're in that place right now, where your parents are arguing, your teachers don't get you, your friends are miles ahead, and your confidence is bleeding out slowly, just know this. You're not broken. You're becoming. And one day, those who mocked you will need your help to learn. So now, I want to hear from you. What was the one moment in your life where you almost gave up learning? What made you feel like maybe you're just not meant to be smart? And what did you learn about yourself today that you never knew before? Tell me in the comments. I'm reading every single one. Because this channel isn't just videos, it's a war camp for the quiet geniuses. You're not alone. You're not weak. You're one mental shift away from being unstoppable. And if no one has told you this lately, I'm proud of you. Now go out there and learn like it's the final boss battle. Because you were never meant to be a background character. You were born to play the game.